All right, so I'm back with my Yoga Flame cabinet. I wanted to show you in this video one of the easiest ways to install Super Nintendo games. There's a few different methods you can do with emulator like RetroArch or something else and add ROMs, scrape for images and all kinds of different stuff to set it up and then configure your buttons. And this method, it's super simple. All you do is download APK, transfer it to the drive, um, USB drive or SD card, put it in your cabinet and install. So I've already done that. I've already transferred the APK to the SD card that's inside this unit. You can watch my other video on how to do that. Um, you do have to format the card first or just get a uh, USB drive, format that, put it in your computer, transfer the file, and then bring it back to your arcade unit. Once you've done that, you're gonna get your keyboard, Windows N, you're gonna pull down this menu. You're gonna grab this bar to bring the menu down. And click on this little gear and this is how you install any apk you can watch the other videos on how to install nova launcher uh macro droid um button mapper and other stuff that you may want but this video is slowly how to install the apk so i'm gonna go to apps and notifications i already have nova installed i'm gonna click on files open this is the file i have it in my downloads folder actually it's this one i installed two other ones uh, I'll show you that towards the end, but this is the one you're looking for. A1UP, SNES 101. There's 101 games on here. Big thanks to the guys behind this, uh, that mystery encoder that solved the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle APK and Arcade 420. I'll link his group in the comments and where you can get this APK that he set up. So I just double clicked on the APK to install. It's gonna ask me to continue and install. So I did have RetroArch installed on this cabinet. That's why you can see these other images. I removed RetroArch. Uh, this file takes up a lot less space. Click done. Um, and then you would install Nova Launcher or anything else you want to if you don't have that set up. Now I'm gonna go to Nova Launcher, open. This is the Yoga Flame uh, One Up app. I've removed everything else. Click and hold. So I'm left clicking on my mouse, holding the screen until this pops up. You can click on widget. You can click on this little uh, icon here and drag that up. You can click right here, drag it up. If your window bar is not all the way to the top, let me slide down, you won't be able to grab and do anything. So you wanna make sure you're all the way up. You wanna grab either one, drag it up, click and hold on this activity, and then you're gonna just release it. Now it's gonna ask you what activity you want to launch. This is the new one from Arcade 420. So it's A1UP test. And there it is. So if I click on that to open, I'm just gonna get confirm. And that's it. It's ready to go, it's installed. And don't ask me again. Wi-Fi is not enabled for this. So I can go through and select any one of these 101 games, turn the volume back up. So you just press start. You don't have to add ROMs. You don't have to configure your joysticks and your buttons or anything like that. It's all ready to go. All right, so I'm just gonna click and hold first person start to leave the game, exit out. I can play other games. So there you go, the APK is up and running. 
I don't have to do anything else, simple as that. Now, I'm gonna go back to Nova Launcher. Like I said, I deleted everything else, so I need to reset up uh, Button Mapper and the other shortcuts I, and other additions I had on my cabinet to back. Uh, I'm gonna go to Apps and Notifications, go back to Nova, open. If I click and hold, I already have the other two APKs installed. Actually, I'm gonna right click, exit out. I'm gonna do Escape and Control. I'm gonna click on widgets here, brings it up, click and hold. And I'm gonna drop that down right there. And these are the ones that I showed you I added. So there's that one, control escape, widgets, and click and hold. So these are the exact same APKs with some graphic changes. I added the thumbnail, uh, I changed the name so I can install them all at once. And I changed the background. So I'm working on two different looks. Uh, if you know how to decompile and recompile ABK, that's all you have to do. And then swap out the graphics file. That's pretty easy. So that's all I've done to this APK. So here's the new start screen. And on this one, I try to go for that um, box art look. So I replaced some of the graphics already, but if I go, you'll see some of the original graphics that they had on the APK. So this box art is what I was trying to mimic on the whole design. I do need to move the Super Nintendo logo to the top. I forgot that there's a line there. Uh, and then you make some other changes to see if I want to continue with this or not. Um, I did change the background music. All right, so to Nova, Windows N. I'm gonna go back to Nova, Windows N, just bring this back, drag that down, click on the gear icon, click on apps, Nova, open. So that was the first one, and this one with the M is Mario World version. So different background, this one kind of look uh, a Mario background and color scheme. You can even see the Mario icon on the top. So I can go through and then these, I just put the art, the titles. Once again, I haven't finished because I just wanted to test the look to see how, if I like this direction and if I want to continue with it. Let me know in the comments which one you like, or if there's another idea you have. If it sounds interesting, maybe I'll uh, mock that up and share the background file so you can swap it out. All right, so that's it. It's super simple. Just download the APK, transfer it to your arcade unit, double click to install, and you're good to go. No configuring anything, setting up anything, adding other ROMs and files. It's all ready to go in one package for you. Once again, big thanks to ArtK420 and the Mystery Coder that got this working. Thank you guys. I'll leave a link in the comment below. Check it out.